Hey guys, so I hate having to do this, but I'm going to put a disclaimer on this video before I get into my makeup collection. In no way, shape, or form am I bragging about my makeup. I know I have too much for one person that I'll ever, ever need, but I do go through it often. I do give products away, throw out things that are bad, or I end up selling stuff that I'm not using. Side note, I have been blogging for years. I've only been on YouTube for a little over a year, but I have been blogging for several years. So I do get makeup sent to me, which is a perk of uh, being on YouTube and having a blog. It's just something that comes with the territory, which I am very appreciative of and thankful for. And I also have a passion for it, so I definitely buy a ton of makeup. So that is why my makeup collection is the way it looks and how it is. It's just requested that I show my makeup collection, and I haven't done an updated one in a while. I do have one on my channel that had my old setup, and I got this setup pretty much right after I filmed that video, but I wanted to put up a video showing how it was before and just so you can see kind of how it has evolved since then. Everything you see here is pretty much from Ikea in terms of storage. I do have an entire video dedicated to all the little things that are on my vanity and in my vanity in terms of storage and anything new that has changed I will mention it in this video if I remember but if you want to see where everything's from please visit that video before you ask me a question about it just because there's so many uh, things that I know you guys are gonna have questions about where that's from if you see anything in my makeup collection you'd like me to use or would like more information on leave it in the comments below and I will get back to you and without further ado, this is my makeup collection. I know it's going to be long, so get a drink, a snack, sit back and relax, and you're about to see my mess. This is what my makeup collection looks like when you walk in the door. And as I said before, all my organization and everything is in a separate video, so if you want to check where all these things are from, then just refer to that video. But this is strictly going to be my makeup collection, so I'm going to get started. On the left hand side of my vanity I have my eye brushes and most of them are dirty right now they do need a bath but I decided to film this anyways and most of my brushes are Sigma or MAC. I have Makeup Forever, as I said some Sigma, uh, these yellow ones are Bdellium and then the rest are MAC or Sigma. I do have a couple uh, Real Techniques brushes as well. Then on the right hand side I have a few things tucked in the corner along with my face brushes. I have my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW25. It's just standing up outside here because if you lay it down you can't get the product. So I'm using that up right now. In this corner I have a little ceramic container and I got this from Forever 21 and I just keep some false eyelashes in there that I currently used and just so I know to use them next time. I just keep my cheap ones in there, my more expensive ones I do rebox after. And then I have a couple Sigma brush rolls. Uh, this one is the Mr. Bunny Travel and this one is the Mr. Bunny uh, regular size and I have yet to use these but they're just waiting there for me to use. And these are my face brushes. I have Sigma and MAC. I have a few of these new ones which are by RC Cosmetics which are similar to um, my Sigma brushes which I'm testing out. I have my NARS Eta and then I have some Real Techniques and Quo brushes at the back but I don't use them as often as my Sigma and my MAC. Now I'm going to go into probably the best part of this makeup collection which is what's in my vanity and that is what I currently use the most often. It's products that are in my everyday rotation so it's probably the most interesting part of my makeup collection and this is what I'm going to spend the most time going through all my products just because it is the stuff that I'm liking the most right now and I think you'll be interested in it. In the right side I have a couple samples that I just keep on the side. I'm using Urban Decay Naked Skin which I did buy a full size that I'm waiting for to come from Sephora and then my Urban Decay Primer Potions which I got with my Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. I have a couple hair clips to just put my hair out of the way when I am filming. In the back I just have some eyelashes that I'm currently using. Red Cherry 43's, Cherry Blossom 415's, Cherry Blossom 747Ms, which I love because I just cut these in half and use them as accent lashes, so I get two sets in one. And then my MAC sharpener, which sucks because it doesn't sharpen the big jumbo pencils by NYX or any other uh, big jumbo crayons. 
In this section right here, I have things that are new or that I'm just in a rotation of. Mostly new products that I'm just kind of testing out or products that I use on a daily basis. This is one of my favorite lip butters by Nivea. It's the Vanilla Macadamia. One of my secrets to a glowing complexion is the Estee Lauder Idealist. I like putting this underneath my foundation. I don't think you guys have seen me do that yet though. Eye cream before makeup, I like using the Yes to Blueberries Age Refresh. I have a few Sigma eyeshadows in here, which I'm currently testing out. I have a Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. I have a couple MAC pigment samples in Tan, Naked, and Pink Opal. I have the Bare Minerals Original Foundation Stila Eyeshadow Kitten, uh, NARS Coco Cabana Illuminator, which I really like lately. I haven't tried this yet, but it's the MAC Giga Black extended play lash and I heard good things about this mascara so I can't wait to try that. I have uh, Urban Decay lipstick in Naked 2. Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara which I haven't tried yet either. An Art Deco blush. I bought this on Shan XO's recommendation. It is limited edition so I haven't really used it in any tutorials because of that reason but it's a gorgeous blush. Then I have a mineralized eyeshadow by MAC. It's Exquisite Ego. The Riri Heart Mac uh, Hibiscus Kiss Powder Blush. Riri Heart Mac Blush in Good Girl Gone Bad. This is an amazing formula blush. I absolutely love this blush. It's one of my favorite by MAC. And then the Wet n Wild Greed Eyeshadow Palette. The back of this drawer, I just keep all my lip pencils and a few lip products that I'm using. Some of my favorite lip pencils are by MAC. I have in sync, cherry, oak, night moth, strip down, subculture, magenta, uh, two limited edition Riri Heart Mac ones. I have a Maybelline Rose lip liner, and then Jordana Tawny. Then I keep four of my NYX Butter Losses. I want to get more of these shades, but I absolutely love the formula of those, so I like keeping them readily on hand. Then I have a NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Buenos Aires Lip Primer and then the Too Faced Lip Injection Color Balm in Bee Sting, which I love. This compartment I keep highlighters and the ones that I have on rotation right now are MAC Pearl, MAC Hush Cream Color Bases, Mary Luminizer from the Balm, which is my favorite highlight at the moment. Stila Duo in Kitten. Looks like that. Riri Heart Mac Cream Color Base in Diamonds. I love cream color bases, as you can tell. A benefit What's Up. I love this product. I'm going to get a full size once this sample is done. It looks like that. And then I like to keep my Chanel products right here so I know to use them. This is one of my favorite highlights in the summer. It's the Soleil Tan de Chanel, the sheer illuminating fluid. And it's such a gorgeous product especially when you have a tan. And then uh, the infamous Chanel Soleil de Tan uh, Bronze Universelle, which mine looks like that. And I have the Hourglass uh, palette, the Ambient Lighting palette, which looks like that. Then in this front section, I have a hand sanitizer from Bath & Body Works. Uh, and some primers and makeup removers. So I have a Dior, a YSL makeup remover, then my primers. I'm currently rotating through the Benefit Professional, an Hourglass Veil Primer, a MAC Strobe Cream, the NARS Radiance Enhancing Pro Prime Primer, and the MAC Natural Radiance Primer. And then I have a couple oils in here. I have some rosehip oil and my Josie Marin Argan oil. And then I have eyelash curler and some brow uh, grooming products in there. On the left hand side of my vanity table, I keep a couple kabukis, a MAC and a Makeup Forever. Beneath my trays, I have a little uh, metal mixing tray and then a couple of these spatulas. This section I just keep setting sprays and powders that I use on a daily. Uh, the Urban Decay Chill, Max Fix Plus. I have a couple products back here from Annabelle that I'm currently testing out. They're color correcting creams. I have Cover FX Powder in G30. 
and then my NARS translucent crystal which you see me use all the time and this section I have mascaras that I'm rotating through in my rotation I have the Maybelline Rocket Chanel Le Volume uh, L'Oreal Voluminous Million Lashes YSL Baby Doll Dior Show Maximizer which I always have on hand L'Oreal Telescopic, two of my CoverGirl Lash Perfection, which is my favorite drugstore mascara in black and brown, and then the It Cosmetics um, mascara. And I have a couple tubes of Duo Lash Glue. Moving on to these three sections, I keep all my eyeliner products at the back. I have three gel liners that I'm currently using, Maybelline Eye Studio in black and brown, and then um, MAC Black Track. My favorite liquid liner by The Balm, which is Schwing, Anastasia NYC, and then just a ton of MAC, NARS, and Urban Decay, mainly the eyeliners that I do use. I have one of these Urban Decay shadow pencils, the Glide On ones, in uh, I think Midnight Cowboy. And then I'm trying out a bunch of Sigma eyeliners, which are really creamy and I love them. In this drawer, I keep uh, the concealers that I'm using and setting powders. I have the Sonia Kashuk Concealer Quad. I have all three of the MAC Prep and Prime uh, pens. Light Boost is currently being hauled in a video to come, so you will see that soon. I clearly love MAC concealers. Uh, you don't see my quad right now. I do use that all the time in my videos, but it's in my purse. But I do have the little pots, which are the Studio Finish pots. So I have NC20 and NW25. I have Moisture Cover by MAC in NW15. I have another Pro Longwear in NC20. And then I have a Select Cover Up in NW25. I also have a NYX HD Concealer in Light. YSL Touche Clet. The Garnier Skin Renew Dark Circle Corrector. And then two setting powders. Um, my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. And then my... Uh, Bare Mineral Rested. Then I have a little sem sample of the Bare Minerals Stroke of Light. And in this front compartment, I keep all my brow stuff and primers for my eyes. I have three paint pots currently in my rotation by MAC. Painterly, quite natural, which I bought because uh, What Would Lizzie Do uses this as a cream contour. So I want to show you that in a video, but it's such a cool technique that I learned from her. So that's why I bought that. And then I have soft ochre. For my brows, I have one of the Fluid Line Brow Creams by MAC. This is like the Anastasia Brow Pomades that I'm waiting to try, but basically the same thing there. Then I have my favorite brow product, Makeup Forever Aqua Brow, Anastasia Brow Wiz, Anastasia Matte Crayon and Camille. Anastasia Brow Duo in medium dark, or dark brown actually, and then Anastasia's uh, Tinted Brow Gel, Anastasia's Clear Brow Gel, and Anastasia's Brow Enhancing Serum, which I have been meaning to use. I'll get back to you and let you know if this does work. I'm currently testing that out. And then I have MAC Spiked Eye Pencil. Benefit Gimme Brow, which is a favorite brow product of mine, and then my NARS Pro Prime Primer. Now back to the storage for the right side of my makeup collection. I have nail polishes up on top. This is new. This wasn't seen in my makeup organization video, so I got this from Nail Polish Canada. Thank you for those who recommended that website to me. Now I'm going to go broke. Kidding though. Thank you guys so much for recommending. It's a pretty awesome site. But here we go, I'm gonna go through all my drawers. Trust me, they're not completely full, but yeah, just sit back and relax. My tripod's not tall enough for this section, so I'm just going to go through it by hand. Sorry if the video is shaky, I'm gonna try my best. This, I keep moisturizers and primers that I'm not currently using. I have a Cargo, Origin, Cetaphil, uh, something random. Um, e.l.f. that I don't even remember that I had. Perry Beauty, this pump doesn't even work. I really need to go through this, but I really like this uh, tinted moisturizer. It's by Revision. Then I have BB creams and other tinted moisturizers. 
Physicians Formula, Marcel, another Cargo Foundation, Maybelline Dream Fresh, uh, some Clinique Moisturizer. I don't like this moisturizer, so if you want it, you're welcome to have it. The Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream, which was sent to me and I'm just trying it out. Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, uh, MAC Skin Rezone Treatment. A little sample of the Urban Decay All Nighter that I use for travel. Then I use this for travel as well. I just kept the small version of my Josie Marin. I have the Smashbox Camera Ready Time Bomb Primer I have yet to try. Bobbi Brown BB Cream yet to try. Uh, just some random makeup for Halloween that I didn't get around to using. More Halloween makeup. And then the Graftobian High Definition Color Palette. It just has foundation so that if, say, someone wanted me to do their makeup, I do have uh, foundations on hand so that I can do their makeup. Next drawer is kind of crazy right now. It's all my foundations. I have three of the Revlon Color Whip foundations in just different shades because I absolutely love that foundation. Then in the back I have more of my drugstore foundations. I have Revlon Fit Me, L'Oreal True Match, uh, Maybelline Dream Mousse, Revlon Color Stay. I have the Eve Pearl Salmon Concealer. MAC Studio Sculpt. I don't even know why I still have that. That's bad. I will take that out. I really didn't like that foundation anyways. I have an e.l.f. corrector palette back there. Lush Color Supplement. Makeup Forever Lift Me Concealer. I have the Cargo One. Cargo One Base Concealer. Some Aquarel by Makeup Forever that I use to mix in foundations if I need them lighter or more yellow based. One of those Dream Lumi pens that I actually should take out to use. One of my favorite drugstore concealers is the Glamouflage by Hard Candy, so I have all the shades in that. I have the Maybelline Age Rewind, the Maybelline Fit Me. I have three of the Studio Sculpts by MAC in NC20, 30, and 40. I have the Revlon Age Defy, CoverGirl Outlast 3-in-1. Uh, this didn't work for me. It's beautiful when you first apply it, but it doesn't last. It says it has a primer built in, but it just does not last for me. The L'Oreal True Match Lumi, which I love. My Dior Skin Air Flash, which I love. My NARS Sheer Glow, which is my holy grail of life. Makeup Forever HD, which I also am a huge fan of. My Chanel Vitamin Lumiere Aqua, big fan of it. Estee Lauder Double Wear for when I need a full coverage. And then my Laura Mercier, Laura Mercier Silk Cream, which you know I love for when I'm uh, my natural skin tone. Drawer number three, I have powders and bronzers. In the back, I have some Elizabeth Arden uh, Physicians Formula Elf HD Powder. Formula bronzer, these little beads. I have an Annabelle color correct or color control press powder, which I need to test out. Cream bronzer in beach bronze from the To the Beach collection by MAC, which I need to get out and use some of these things more. I have MAC Refined Golden, which is a permanent shade, but I like the To the Beach collection, so I got that. Cargo Blu ray uh, high definition press powders in number 20 and 30. I used to rave about these all the time. They're, if you have very yellow based skin, they're perfect for you. I have a MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Comfort. I believe this is limited edition. And it looks like that. I keep all these little dome things for them because in case you travel or just for storage in general, it's best to have them so that they don't break or they're less likely to. MAC Solar Reach Bronzer, MAC Golden bronzing powder. I used to use this all the time. This is my second one and it takes a lot for me to hit pan. I used to use this more a uh, long time ago. Some of the Guer Guerlain Meteorites. I love these. These are beautiful. Look like that. Tarte Park Avenue Princess in, yeah, which needs to be thrown out. I have another MAC bronzer in Nude on Board. It's a great bronzer. It's a prolonged wear bronzer. MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium Dark. I use this to contour and bronze my face. A Tarte sample of powder. My Chanel powder, which is my favorite for when I'm tan. It's the Vita Lumiere Eclat. Just looks like that. The It Cosmetics Celebration Foundation in tan and uh, medium beige. And they're some of my favorite, par 
favorite powders as well. They're great coverage and they look flawless on the skin. I highly recommend those. Uh, Dior bronzer. I have Ben Nye Neutral Set Powder, Makeup Forever Powder. I have two NARS Laguna bronzers, one that I need to uh, put in my empties. Actually, medium dark I use for my face and then dark I use for uh, contour. So I have two of those mineralized skin finishes. Then Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer, the Betty Luminizer, Bahama Mama bronzer. This is new. It's gorgeous. I love it. I have a MAC Blot Powder and Benefit Hula. And this is my blush drawer. I have a lot of NARS blushes. And then a couple of these Balm In Stain ones that I'm currently trying out. I have Houndstooth and Argyle. My NARS blushes. I have Enchanted Cream Blush, Cactus Flower. It's cream as well. Gina, Lovejoy, Madly, Luster, Orgasm, Deep Throat, and then I have the Four Play Cheek Palette. A few of the Sigma blushes, which are gorgeous. Then I have a couple cream cream blushes by Mac. I have Lady Bl Lady Blush, which I just used in a tutorial. It's so pretty, and then I have Lilicent. All of the NYX Rouge Cream Blushes in yeah, every color. I love those blushes. I have a couple limited edition MAC blushes. This is gorgeous. Uh, it's Cream Soda from the Betty and Veronica collection from MAC. Then I have these blushes which are gorgeous as well. Some of my favorites. Honey Jasmine in Royal Sunset. Then I got all three of these new Extra Dimension blushes by MAC that you saw me haul in Autoerotic, Pleasure Model, and At Dusk. Then the Marilyn Monroe blushes in Legendary and The Perfect Cheek. Love those. Marilyn Monroe was one of my favorite collections, I have to say. Then I have another cream color base. This one is in Virgin Isle. It looks great on the lips or the cheeks. I'm going to use that so much this spring summer, so be prepared. I typically don't like the MAC Mineralized Blushes, but I do have Ring of Saturn and Alpine, Bron Alpine Bronze. Both were limited edition. I have a NYX Blush in Angel, a Tarte Cheek Stain, an Elizabeth Arden Little Cream Blush in Honey. I have my Wet n Wild Blush in Heather Silk. Two of these Physician Formula Happy Booster blushes. This is in Natural, which is my absolute favorite. It's such a great drugstore blush. I suggest you go out and get it. Then I have two of the Benefit block Box blushes in Rockateur Coralista. And then I have this Physician's Formula Matchmaker blush. It has really bulky but cool packaging. It looks like this, and it has a little light on it. How cool is that? makes for a great compact. Then in this drawer I have a lot of my mineralized skin finishes and beauty powders. It's not full. This is like a limited edition kind of drawer. So I don't reach in here that often just because I don't like using limited edition products in tutorials, but I do have a lot of them. I have a bunch of things from the Venomous Villains collection, which was either my favorite or second favorite collection from MAC, next to the Marilyn Monroe one. But I have Briar Rose, her own devices, and Oh So Fair. This, I love Briar Rose. It's such a unique shade that I don't have in my collection except for that. Then, as you can tell, I have an obsession with mineralized skin finishes. I have So Ceylon, which is gorgeous. They need to re promote it. If you don't have it, you need it. Star Wonder. I forgot I even had the center of the universe. I have Light Ear, Stereo Rose, the original, Blonde, and Redhead. I wish I would have got Brunette, but I didn't. This was my favorite blush. It looks really light, but and it's called a highlight. It's the Crew Highlight Powder, but I use it as a blush, and it's so gorgeous. And it's from one of the MAC Summer Collections. Then this is one of my favorite products as well. It's Shell Pearl Beauty powder. Oh my goodness, I can't even say that or open it. 
and it looks like that. It's gorgeous. And then I have Marilyn Monroe Forever Marilyn Beauty Powder, and this is a highlight as well. It's like a matte highlight. It's very unique. I have nothing like this. I need to use that more often. It's so gorgeous. Uh, Mighty Aphrodite. Looks like that. I used a ton of that product. And then I love this. This is like a huge uh, mineralized skin finish from the Wonder Woman collection. It just has a matte bronzer, a highlight, and a blush, and it's just the perfect thing. In this drawer, I have all my eyelashes. I can't go through them all just because it's just ridiculous. I have Velour House of Lashes, Ardell Red Cherry, uh, Foxy Lashes, just every kind of lash there is. And then I'm going to take this out. All my MAC pigment samples, I buy them. I buy my MAC pigments and samples just because I never go through a whole thing of MAC pigment. And I'll put the link in the info bar of where I get my MAC pigments. They're authentic and they're really affordable. So definitely check out that site if you're interested in trying just a whole array of MAC pigments. In this drawer, I just keep my Equate wipes, which I use to wipe down my hands, back to MAC products, things I use for depotting, my MAC brush cleanser, my beauty blender cleanser, and the liquid and the solid, masking tape for my eyes, uh, paper towel that I have cut for spot cleaning my brushes and then in these three containers I have cosmetic sponges, uh, q-tips, beauty blenders, and I have some Vaseline back there. In this drawer I have all my samples that are organized in some cosmetic bags just to keep like skincare, hair care, makeup all organized. These are all basically samples of mascara that I need to go through. I just have a ton of samples of products and then I have my luminous airbrush system back there. And here I keep all my Numi tools. I need a Numi hair dryer, that's the only thing I don't have, but I have a bunch of their curling wands and their straightener, which I love. This is my perfume collection. If you want me to do a perfume collection for you, I can do that. But look how cute those little tiny perfume bottles are. This is my highlight drawer. I keep a couple of deodorants I'm using in here. I have my uh, Sephora VIB Rouge card. I actually haven't gone into a Sephora since getting that like months ago. I've only been ordering online, so I still need my card. These are old business cards uh, that I had that I need to update. I have some perfume roller balls. And a lot of these are mineralized skin finishes. Again, I had an obsession for them um, a little bit ago. I have, this is probably my oldest product from fall 2007, the MAC Alexander McQueen in New Vegas. I have Physician Formula Shimmer Strip in Vegas Strip. And this is a dupe for the Dior Amber Diamond, in case you're wondering. MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Perfect Topping, the original. They just came out with another one that is different. Elizabeth Arden Highlighter Rose Illumination. This is really pretty. The Rose Gold Highlighter. Benefit High Beam. I have MAC Soft and Gentle, a cult favorite. I have MAC Whisper of Guilt, another cult favorite. If you could get your hands on that, it is gorgeous. MAC Superb Extra Dimension Skin Finish, MAC by Candlelight Extra Dimension Skin Finish, NARS Albatross. I have a couple of the uh, Magically Cool Liquid Powders. This was from the Venomous, Venomous Villains in Truth and Light. And then I have Honey Rose, which I used to use all the time. It is so gorgeous. And then I bought this based on Candy Johnson's recommendation in Silver Dusk, back when she used to use that all the time. Then I have a Magnetic Appeal, which just came out in their new collection, and then Fairly Precious, which also just came out. Uh, these are other Extra Dimension skin finishes. And then I have Light Scapade Mineralized Skin Finishes, Dior Amber Diamond, and then the Becca uh, Shimmering Skin Perfector. A Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick, this is new. It is in Lilac Rose and it's limited edition. And it looks like that. This makeup drawer is kind of chaotic. I have extra eyeliners back there, mostly drugstore. The MAC Paint in Bare Canvas. I bought this back when I knew Kim Kardashian used it and I like bought everything that she used. Rock Behind the Scenes Eyeshadow Primer. A couple e.l.f. Cream Eyeliners. MAC 
eyeliners in Ash Violet and Dark Diversion. These were limited edition. I have three more paint pots by MAC in Bear Study Rubenesque Groundwork. I have a ton of the Maybelline color tattoos and then a ton of the Sigma uh, shadow bases. In this drawer, I just have some drugstore palettes, my uh, Wet n Wild uh, palettes, Annabelle palette, Maybelline, uh, Lise Watier, Marcel pigments, Lancome palette, Wet n Wild, Anastasia, Clinique, of a MAC Press pigment. I have all these pigments that I got from the holiday collection from MAC, which I used in my Valentine's Day tutorial. Some NYX eyeshadows, a bunch of the L'Oreal Color Infallible things that I love, Elise Watier, a MAC Mixing Medium, and then a couple glitters. I have 3D Silver Glitter, I have Gold Glitter, uh, Reflex Pearl and Refle Reflex Bronze. Marilyn Monroe Single Eyeshadows. They're garbage. They're terrible quality, but I just like them for the packaging. I was debating selling them because maybe someone else would actually use them and like them, but I don't know. I might have a blog sale soon. So if you're interested, be on the lookout for that. The Archie's Girl Collection from MAC. Really pretty shades, and I bought this only because a MAC eyeshadow with my name all over it. Literally, Cheryl Chic had to get that. And then I have three single, three, four, can you count? Four NARS single eyeshadows in Ashes to Ashes, Night Clubbing, uh, Galapagos, and Mekong. And then I have this trio in Ramatuel. You can see me using this a lot in the summertime. Then this drawer is full of lipsticks. A lot of drugstore, actually this is all my drugstore lipsticks. About Twist Up, I did a little giveaway with those if you follow me on Instagram. I do giveaways every now and then on different social media sites, so if you're not following me on them, you won't see them. Of the Wet n Wild Mega Last Lip uh, Matte Lip Products, they're just such a great formula. The only thing is their packaging gets super dirty, but I have like almost every shade of those. Which are the Baby Lips, the Dr. Rescue and the Regular, my Revlon Lip uh, balm in honey. Lint lips, which are just random weird uh, lip tattoos, which I was planning on doing some crazy looks that I never got around to. A bunch of the Revlon lip butters, the Maybelline Vivids, uh, Lush Bubblegum Lip Scrub, Color Whispers by Maybelline, uh, some of the NYX Round Lipsticks, my e.l.f. Lip Exfoliator, some Revlon lipsticks. I have Depotted MAC lipsticks in here. I have Cream Cup Marques D and High T. Then I have uh, EOS Lip Balm, the Kors Lip Butter in Jasmine. I love these e.l.f. Uh, lip butters, the lip conditioners. I have Mellow Melon and the pink one. I think is in my purse actually right now. I have a few of these. I have one of these in my purse which is Purring, which is amazing. Then I have Pucker and Hush Hush. They are Tender Tones by MAC and they smell amazing. And SPF, so they're good for the summer and I love those. And this drawer is all my lip glosses. Oh, that's not in my purse, it's there. Victoria's Secret uh, little lip glosses in the tube. I have a ton of these NYX uh, Mega Shine lip glosses. Drugstore, Revlon, Maybelline. I have the Revlon Super Lustrous. This is the new packaging. These are the old ones. I love the formula of those. I have a ton of these uh, Anastasia Hyper Glossy glosses. They're beautiful. My Dior Lip Maximizer, which I want a full size once I'm done. I have these new Maybelline Color Elixirs, some of the OCC Lip Tars. These Gleam Lip Glosses, which are a beautiful formula. My favorite drawers, this is mostly my MAC lipstick collection. I have, these are all MAC lipsticks here. MAC Lip Glosses all back there. And then I have a bunch of my higher end lip glosses in the corner. Then I have uh, several of the Lime Crime lipsticks, couple YSL, Elizabeth Arden, It Cosmetics, uh, One Chanel, Wonder Woman Gloss from MAC, Buxom, Sigma, a couple NARS, Super Orgasm, Turkish Delight, uh, Marc Jacobs, Lime Crime Lip Velveteens, which I love, my Guerlain Kiss Kiss Gloss, which is probably my favorite gloss of all time, and then my Elizabeth Arden gloss, which is pretty close to that. 
These are all my permanent, they're all alphabetized. And then I go into my limited edition one, Barbie ones, taking us way back. The Venomous Villains one. I have all of the Marilyn Monroe ones. An Archie Girls. I forget which co collection this was, but it's uh, it was such a beautiful packaging. Wonder Woman. Brave New Bronze, which they need to re-release. All of the MAC Heart Riri ones in the gold. In this packaging, which is Pleasure Bomb. This is probably my favorite drawer. It has majority of my palettes. I'm just going to try and go through this relatively quickly. Too Faced, a few of my favorite things. I have nine MAC eyeshadow palettes. I have uh, one of these one of these empty palettes that I put my everyday shadows in, but I'm planning on filming a collection of uh, those soon. I have three MAC blush palettes, and then I have my Z palette with my Makeup Geek eyeshadows. My blush palettes. My MAC eyeshadow palettes. Have this little kit by Anastasia which is great it has eyeshadows and brow products I have a little quad that I made for my Valentine's Day tutorial from Mac I have another quad I barely ever use that though I have my Oz uh, by Urban Decay the Gilda one I have my Too Faced Naked Eye palette my BH Cosmetics 120 color palette uh, an elf palette back there. I think that's a Coastal Sense uh, 88 palette. And then I have this Motives from Scott Barnes. I loved when he did work with Motives Cosmetics. Then I have a little Dior Holiday palette. Then I have my Urban Decay Basics palette right back here. A Too Faced uh, palette. And I have the Kat Von D Lady Bird palette. I don't think I've ever used that in a tutorial, but I should. My Lorac Pro. Urban Decay Summer of Love. I barely use this, but I love the packaging. I think I'm a hippie at heart. I have the Sigma Warm Neutrals palette. All three of the Urban Decay Naked palettes. The Tarte Holiday Collection Cheek palette. Sleek Acid palette. Then I have Tarte Call of the Wild palette. My favorite blush palette, which is by Terina Tarantino. It's their Doll Skin Cheek palette. And it looks like this. The colors are beautiful. I absolutely love this one in Parasol. It is the most beautiful shade ever. The drawer just has some random stuff in it. I have a sample of the Purity Face Wash and a bunch of those that I got from Sephora for 500 points that I can't wait to use. My Sigma brush glove for washing my brushes, which I need to do like today. My dry and shape uh, thing from Sigma. Then I have both of my Urban Decay Vice 1 and Vice 2 palette. And then in this drawer, I have my extensions on top, Bellamy and Foxy Locks. Love both of them. I have hair products that are my daily essentials. And then I have a bunch of these sock buns, my hair brushes, things like that. Oils, you know, just whatever that I use on a daily basis. So that is my makeup collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm now going to give you a little sneak peek at some other makeup that are that will be going into my collection shortly. I just have to do a haul. But since you watched this video, I'm going to show you my sneak peek. Skincare BH Sigma Whitening Lightning. And then I got a bunch of stuff over here that I'm going to be hauling. So be on the lookout for that. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like this video if you liked it and leave a comment down below if you want to see anything in use. And I will see you guys in my next video.